go back three years when I first started with no code and give myself one piece of advice to accelerate my learning. But that's what this video is all about. Webhooks. Learn them, get comfortable with them, and just play around with them. That's really the crux of it. What is a webhook? It's basically a web address or a URL or a link that you can use as a no coder to send out information. If you think of a webhook like a rocket, you're just shooting it out there and you can attach all sorts of stuff to the rocket and send that with it. And I'm not talking about an RPG like this one where it's just chaotic and out of control and when it lands, hopefully the rocket doesn't explode and destroy all the information that comes with it. I'm more thinking of a rocket that is going to be docking at the NASA space station in a really ordered and structured fashion and in a very seamless integration in two things that are made perfectly for each other and just nicely pass the information to wherever it is that you're trying to send it. And once the webhook has been sent, that can act as a trigger, an instant trigger to a no-code automation. And the information that was attached to the rocket and sent with it can be used further along the way in that automation. Generally where no-coders are first going to come into contact with the webhook is when you use something like Zapier or Integromat. Zapier and Integromat are probably the most commonly used integrator or logic flow type tools for trying to achieve no code workflow automations. So I'll show you how to generate a unique webhook URL in both of those tools. And then in the next part of the video, we'll show you how to take that unique URL and how to attach information to it using a formula field inside of Airtable. And stick around to the end of the video, you'll see where we show you a number of webhook triggered workflows and why they're so powerful for us no coders. So if we jump into your Zapier your dashboard and you create a new zap as i've done here you'll open up this first screen and it's asking you to set a trigger so this is generally where you'll find your zapier webhook trigger and if you hit webhooks by zapier and choose an event and you go catch hook that's whereby you're basically setting up the international space station here in zapier and you're saying continue and zapier is going to give you the exact hook or the exact url that is needed for data to be attached onto and to be passed up to the space station. So if we copy that, that's our unique URL. And similarly, if we jump into the Integromat studio here to get your unique webhook URL, you click on the first module and Integromat has a module called webhooks. We click that and we're going to look at the custom webhook. This is the one that you'll be using 99% of the time as you get started. Click that. It's now asking us to create a webhook. And so we just click add here, give the webhook a name. And generally it's good practice to name it something that you will identify with months down the line when you will possibly have hundreds of webhooks and you won't know what each one is. So I'll just say uh, example rocket webhook tutorials, and then you hit save. And Integromat has now created a unique URL webhook address for you to now trigger, click on and send information with. So I will copy that address URL. And if you jump into your no code backend tool, in this case, I'm using Airtable, I can drop my Integrama URL webhook into the webhook field. So what we now need to do is create a button field inside of our Airtable base so that every time we click that button, it triggers the unique URL. And what we're going to do is take our base Integromat URL and add what's called parameters to that URL to pass some basic data. In this example, what we're going to do is a very basic two-step Integromat flow to create a tweet on my Twitter account. I'm going to make it a, a blue button for Twitter. What we do here is this URL formula is just like any other formula field inside of Airtable. And all we need to do to join the Integromat unique webhook URL with other data is use what's called a concatenate formula. I need to find the field that holds my Integromat webhook URL. That's the field there. And here is the part I found challenging as a beginner no coder. It's it's actually, you need to create what's called a parameter for each field that you're sending with your webhook. The other key thing is getting the syntax right here. So the first parameter will always be entered with a question mark at the beginning of it. And in this case, we're going to put in message as the parameter the parameter question mark message equals. And then here's the actual cell reference or the field reference, and that's going to be dynamics. Depending on which row I'm clicking this button on, it's going to pull whatever value is inside the message field. And it's going to connect it onto this webhook URL so that when Integromat gets it, it knows that the message equals the message inside of your Airtable base. The other key thing to know is when you're passing more than one parameter, every subsequent parameter, the syntax is that it doesn't begin with the question mark any longer. It begins with an ampersand. And then again, it's the same thing. So it's just to describe it. And so we'll just say 
web page and web page equals that's the syntax close quotation marks and we're going to take the web page cell reference for that the last one is i sure we'll pass in the record id okay and so we will go again ampersand because it's a follow-on parameter it's not the first one and we will go record id equals and we will reference the record ID field. So that is my fully locked and loaded webhook formula. And if I just create a formula field as well, so you can just see exactly what's happened here. Formula. And if I paste that exact formula in there, and if we go create field, you can see when you click this button, this is what's firing. And there's our unique Integromat webhook. Question mark, first parameter is message equals, and now it's actually taking the message from here greetings and it is then passing to the second parameter and web page equals and it is taking the web page information from here and then it's also taking and record id equals and it's taking the record id of this particular row so it's just going to pass those three pieces of information into my integromat flow so if you come in here and you click run once it's now listening out for the webhook and if we come back in here and if we trigger our webhook and if we go back into Integromat, you can see it's gone green and there's a tick and it's caught our webhook effectively. The, the rocket is docked at the NASA space station and it's passed in our three parameters that we had tied onto it. And now these three pieces of information can be used in whatever module we want to add on. And there's literally hundreds and hundreds of software and no-code tools available to pass the information onto. In this case, we will just create a tweet module here. And if we add that on there, open it up, it's already got my no code Twitter connection. And if we just pass the message greetings, and if we go, okay, and then hit run once, go back into the Airtable base and trigger this. Now it should execute the flow. It's passed the information up and it looks like Twitter has caught it now from the webhook module. And if we just jump into Twitter now, and so we can see there 29 seconds ago, there's that message that we just posted. So when we're happy that the Integromat flow is working, what you would normally do is just turn it on so that every time now you click a webhook trigger inside of your table base, it will run your automation workflow. So we're going to create a, a tweet straight from scratch. So this was sent while making a YouTube tutorial there. And so if we hit open URL and said it's accepted. And now I'm just going to jump straight to my Twitter feed and see how it actually created a tweet. And it's created a tweet there. This was sent by Webhook while making a YouTube tutorial. So I think it was the point when I fully got to terms with Webhooks that I realized that I could really build out a control center or almost a second brain for my existing business. And it started to transform really the way I did everything in my business. It started to become a, an almost internal custom software of itself because suddenly I was able to connect a, a very functional database with all of the other cloud softwares that I use in my business. And in a lot of cases, it replaced a lot of those cloud softwares because I was able to build the functionality into Airtable itself with Airtable automations combined with the power of webhooks to external apps. It really was a game changer for me. So if you're still relatively new to no code or you're not sure really where to get started or what tools to be using because there's so much choice out there, I definitely recommend that you check out this video here. It should cut out a lot of research time for you and it should get you on the right track to just start learning and developing and building and automating and having fun with no code. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.